Welcome back to DXP Today and a rather special DXP Today today. Why? Because it's our ton up, 100 episodes under our belt. This is our 100th episode and a bit of a sports special for you as well. Next guest is no ordinary Dubai resident. She left a career to set up an organisation uh, with very little funding. The goal of making sport inclusive here. Her mission? To develop the sporting and social skills people of determination. It's an absolute pleasure to welcome to the studio Holly Murphy. Holly, great to have you with us here. Thanks Holly is me. the founder and the CEO of Heroes of Hope. Um, again, thanks for being with us. I suppose it's, it, it's, 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 the, it's the platform, it, it's, the, it's the elevator pitch. That's what we need first and foremost. A lot of our viewers out there will not know what Heroes of Hope is set up for. Tell us more. Um, essentially a bit like Fatty. <laughs> so Heroes of Hope, it's a not-for-profit sports academy but a focus on working with adults and children with additional needs. So perhaps children or adults with cognitive disabilities or with physical disabilities. So the whole purpose of what we're trying to achieve is to have a sports academy that can support children and give them a pathway through sport despite their challenges. So that's why we set up the, the sports academy. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Uh, Holly, um, I know we, we work together in Champs yeah. with, the, with the kids. Yes. So. A lot of people doesn't understand how important sports to special needs kids are. Yeah, and I think can mm. you tell us, you know, by with your experience, yeah. what are you giving them additional than any other things, any other activity that's happening? I think no matter what, like children should have experiences through sport. I think Fadi kind of nailed at the beginning. Like there's so many layers to sports, and there's so many things that you can gain from it. And I don't think children with additional needs, they shouldn't be exempt from that. They're, they're not the exception. I think to what we've done is like, we've really empowered uh, children and adults with additional needs to learn like self-worth, confidence, and, and also actually gain more respect uh, for people who do have additional needs. And it's given them a platform to shine really, and just to prove to themselves and to others exactly what they can do. And that is our focus. Um, similar to Fadi, I see them as athletes and it's my job to really push them and to get them to the next level um, in sport. Um, so a big part of our ambition and our purpose is to create more events uh, for people with additional needs to actually be included. So despite, you know, whatever competitions are going on, we've worked really hard to make sure there's a section for PODs and they're out there and they're performing and they have something to work towards. So there's purpose to their training as well. Mm. Uh, but more important, importantly, again, it comes down to that family ethos. So at Here is a Hope, we do see ourselves as a big family. So the parents actually get a lot of support as well through what we do. I think it's important for the families, particularly if you do have a child with additional needs. I think parenting at any level is difficult, but I think obviously having a child with additional needs can be pretty tricky. Mm. Um, but we're there for them as well. You know, it's a big plus. Like, Fatty, you created a gym for family so they can go and they can obviously train where the kids are training. It's similar for us. We want to make sure that the, the families can come and take a break we can try and take over as best we can and support their children and for them to have a positive experience through sport. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful what you're doing and I was actually just going to ask you more about that because as a parent I'm wondering, they must be so protective and worried about their children as well and this is obviously something new they're introducing their kids to. How do you give them uh, that um, s sense of security and do you have volunteers that also help and contribute to this? Absolutely, so we've been really blessed actually. We, um, the whole organisation is actually run by volunteers so a lot of people do give up their free time to you know, give back to, to the heroes and to ensure that they're getting um, a fantastic experience and they're in sport. Um, so yeah, so that's just kind of something that we really lean into is the community out here and to making sure that we have the best volunteers on board. So a lot of them are specialist coaches who actually specialize in that sport, but they have a very empathetic heart and really want to do more through their own sport. So they've jumped on board to help us give back to the families and to the children and to make sure that we can do whatever we can to, um, like you said, like build that trust. Mm -hmm. So the parents actually know they're with a, a, a proper coach, you know, a coach that knows what they're doing and really wants to do the best for that child. And I think that takes time. It really does take time. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, parents do have those difficulties. I think some of the parents have had some negative experiences. Um, but to what we're doing, we're doing our very best to accommodate their children's needs and to try, you know, make sure that they're in a safe environment and more importantly, we really do embrace the children for exactly who they are. We don't try and change that. Mm -hmm. So we don't actually focus on the diagnosis. We focus more on what the child can do or the adult. Um, that the organization, our, our youngest is four and our oldest is 44. So <laughs> it's really, it's really hard. Like, so we do try and we don't really try and say they're kids or yeah. this, yeah. but they're heroes. That's what we call them, the heroes. Yeah. So for us, um, 
we focus on what the heroes can do and then we try and find a sport that we can focus on with them and get you know get the best out of them so we're very lucky we've got some fantastic runners and then we also have some fantastic swimmers and tennis players and crossfitters and boxers so yeah we have a multi multi talented athletes um, in what we do yeah. yeah, and Holly, you said it's all about the community. Uh, I mean, you are self-funded. It is a non-profit organization. For those listening at home, this is the first time they, they've heard about this. How, how can we help? How can we get involved with the community? I think, number one, you can obviously um, research us. We're on, mm -hmm. uh, we've got our own website. We've got Instagram and all that. And if you do want to come on board as a volunteer, we're always looking for that. Equally as well, we do lean into a lot of corporate um, kind of partnerships. And if they are looking at maybe promoting inclusion, within the workplace it's a great place to come down and actually see what that looks like and how to bring that perhaps in, into their work workforce and so on so we are there we're out there we're very open to opportunities and experiencing different things it doesn't even have to be sports related it's all about as you said connection in the community and figuring out what we can do together and what new experiences that we can achieve so that's what we're really focused on doing through what we do mm, i love that holly thank you so much heroes of hope yeah, everyone get researching you, google holly. it thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you so day. much for your time holly uh, you. and we love our guest co-host here today i mean he's bigger than the three of us put together on this <laughs> sofa uh, but it's over to dxv in 60 dina that's the first thing I said to you, right? Uh, I've yeah, never th I'm, I'm a tall girl, I'm a big girl. Yeah, I've like, never happy. felt so I'm, dainty I'm in my life. Is bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna shine the spotlight on you for a second here. Yeah. Well, for 60 seconds, and I'm gonna ask you some questions. You ready? Right. DXB in 60, all right? Start the clock. Three, two, one, and go. All right, Hadi. Your signature move on the basketball court. Uh, post up, fade away. Okay, LeBron James uh, or Steph Curry? Steph Curry. Indoor or outdoor basketball? Indoor. Most memorable time on court? Mm, winning in a world championship against France. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Famous athlete that you'd like to meet? I've uh, met him, Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah. Anyone else Michael. that you'd like to meet? You haven't met uh, Dwayne uh, Rock. Oh, oh that's no. a good one. Uh, your most prized possession? I, my your prized possession. Something you own that you can't live without? Champs, uh, besides my family. Right, like yeah. something you own. <laughs> okay, we'll keep yeah. it that way. Yeah, it's, it's Friday night. Do you sleep in or do you party hard? No, I sleep in. Good for you. Mo your motto in sport and life? Michael Jordan, Dwayne Johnson. Um, no, something like a quote that you live by or like something that you... That you uh, one, one of the quotes, uh, two quotes, ex expect nothing and you'll never be disappointed. Yes. Mm. Second thing... Uh, what Michael Jordan said, I have succeeded, I have failed over and over and over again, and that's why I succeed. Ah, so I love that. Yeah. Source of inspiration. Fadi, talking of succeeding, um, listen, all the best with the new ventures as Thank well. Thank you. Mate. <coughs> Thanks so much indeed for coming in and joining us here. Live Thank you for today. having me. It's a pleasure. It's been an absolute pleasure having you as our guest. Pleasure mine. We're in safe hands. We really yeah, are. Sure. <laughs> Holly, again, big thanks to you Thank as well you. for joining us live here on the uh, show. Later on on the show, we ain't finished just yet, we're bringing you some music by the very talented Dubai-based artist. Now, that's all still to come a little later on. Hi, guys. My name is Sean from the United States. Stay tuned for a performance tonight. Don't miss out.